Okay, good morning <coughs> and welcome to Thursday morning racing in uh, Hellerup, which is uh, something that some of us is doing basically every Thursday morning. And uh, we're, not, we're not spending a long time on the water, typically just around uh, a small hour, a short hour. And uh, what we typically do is a lot of um, exercises that's uh, training you in the boat and, and also what you would call the training, a lot of the maneuvers that we are doing in the contender. So um, today is a very light weather. Uh, it's actually quite often quite light weather in the morning. So uh, not a big surprise, but um, as you can see, uh, quite, quite uh, uh, light weather today. There's uh, just two of us today. Uh, sometimes we are up to five or six people, but uh, I guess the light winds uh, that was predicted in the forecast uh, probably scared a few guys away. So what we'll be doing, uh, training right now to begin with, is a lot of um, figure eight sailings. So we have two marks. One is uh, what we call a shit boy in Denmark. And another one is a, is a mark that we just, uh, that I just put out. So basically we're gonna do the figure eight, meaning that we will round the top mark on port and we will round the bottom mark on starboard. So this is a good exercise because it means that you have to do two tacks on the upwind and you also put in two jibes uh, going downwind. So uh, let's see how that goes. Again, <coughs> coming around the mark now, easing out, easing out on the kicker, pushing out on the boom. Jiving, and again, the very important long part of the jive. Now, coming down to the mark, I'll need to do a quick jive and also a quick rounding of the mark. So, actually, we're going to have to do quick. I prefer going back to the boat, jiving over, getting the boat healed a bit, and going the accelerate. As soon as I got the boat where I want it, pull the kicker a bit, I'll be done. So you get to get forward in the boat as quick as you're done with the tack. If the wind was a bit stronger, we would make the course a bit longer. We actually have time to do the maneuvers in a more normal fashion. Because you really don't want to do these exercises so that you're rushing everything too much. Of course, you still want to do this so that you get a bit of exercise from it but still it should be kind of controlled. So right there on the edge. Okay, getting ready to attack for the mark. Easing out on the kicker a bit, getting to the mark, starting to go fast. Mark. And driving. As you notice on this short course, I don't really pay much attention to the center board as I just prefer to have it down all the time, giving a bit more control on the boat. And at the same time, I don't have to fiddle with that as the course is quite short. 
getting around the mark again, doing the acceleration, oh, realizing the rope is twisted. Getting up there. That was a really bad tack. That was a really bad rounding I did there. Uh, I didn't get up on the proper course, so spending going too low for a while. Um, with this kind of sun being this low, it's hard to see the telltales on the on the other side of the sail. So basically, that's why I ended up not. Not really knowing what was the right course. Of course, what I should do was to look forward and notice what is the what is the angle of a sail, and use that to quickly determine: am I pointing too high or am I pointing too low? Uh, but usually, I do that using. All right, filter. so. Another good exercise that we are doing, uh, we are not doing this as frequently as we're doing the other exercise, but basically it's a kind of the same exercise, but this time I put the mark so they are both 90 degrees towards the wind and we'll still be doing the figure eight uh, around, the, uh, around them, so rounding the top mark on port and rounding the bottom mark on starboard. And then you just go round and round and then of course again same as before the trick is to catch your opponent and if you're multiple people that can actually be uh you know quite exciting as you know of course you're still obeying by the uh by the rules uh, so that's of course how it works let's see uh how this will go <clears throat> It's a typical exercise where you might consider having the main sheet directly from the boom instead of um, all the time having to, uh, you know, have it through the cleat and, and the ratchet block and all that. But for the practice, I think uh, it's actually better to have it through the ratchet and the block, not because it's faster, but simply because that's how you have it when you're, you know, sailing normally. So not any big difference there. So again, here I'm getting around the mark and as soon as I get around the mark I start my my attack which is actually what you also quite often have to do I mean getting around the bottom mark and quickly having to do a attack so quite similar to a racing situation I'll do one one round here with the camera here in my head and then I'll do another one with um, with the camera on the boat so jiving again oh. Oh, this was a really bad jibe really should have been much closer to the mark there clearly see that uh, Olga managed to jibe with, sorry, tag with much more acceleration, but again, she's also getting too close to the mark. So uh, both of us quite. Okay, so last exercise today will be some pure acceleration training. And uh, I'll be using this uh, yellow mark and uh, Olga will be using the red one. And what we'll be exercising is uh, lying still close to the mark. And then I'll be doing a 10 second countdown. And that 10 seconds you should use to get your boat ready for the acceleration. And your acceleration shouldn't start until I actually hit, you know, one or zero, you know, depending on how you want to do the exercise really. So I'm going to go close to the mark. Like we can see Olga is getting close to the to the red boy. And again, I want to use the main sheet just like I would in a race. So although this wind is so light, I could have the main sheet in my hand and it will make it a lot easier. Um, I'll use it through the block and the cleat. 
just to have the same exercise. So I'm getting to the mark and what I want to do now is kind of stop the boat and be close. And then I'll just be sitting here, you know, close to the mark, seeing how I can do that. Still, seems like we have a bit of current today. That's actually pushing us a bit. So actually staying here isn't that hard. I'm actually uh, backing the sail right now just to get a bit backwards, which is quite opposite of what would usually happen. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, start. All right, that was the exercise. We go back, then you go back and we do the same again. For the acceleration exercise, I uh, prefer not to have the, the wang very tight um, as that closes the leech of the sail quite a lot. So, which means basically that uh, it's harder for me at least, I feel, to accelerate the boat. So going back to the mark and getting up there again. And this time I'll try and see if I can stay a bit to the lure of the mark so that I can do a nice close to the mark. Okay, just lying here. Like to sail flipped over, uh, it's not really doing as one. So I'll, now I'll just do a quick 360. Yep. And practicing quick 360 is actually a really, really good thing as well. So that could be something we could look at on the next episode. And again, coming around here 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh. So I didn't actually, I definitely wasn't over the line, and uh, but on purpose I made a 10 second at a point where I kind of knew I wasn't going to make it, but that's often what happens in a race anyway, so Doing your best is always what you can do. And again, we go back.